66 Stewie calling NA1SS. NA1SS, NA1SS, this is K6DUE calling for scheduled contact with the EV Nautilus. Over. NA1SS, NA1SS, this is K6DUE calling for scheduled contact with the EV Nautilus. Over. NA175, great to talk with you. Hi, this is Erin, Science Communication Fellow on NA175. We just wanted to say super cool to talk to you here out in the Pacific towards the end of our expedition and during yours. So really huge thank you for your time and super, super cool to be able to talk to you. <laughs> hey, it's so meaningful for me to get to talk to you. I was just absolutely thrilled when I saw this show up. Hi, Zena. This is Renato Kane, Expedition Lead here on board. We both first sailed on Nautilus in 2013, and I'm wondering from your perspective, how has your view of the planet changed by exploring space and the ocean? Over. Oh, so many ways, but I think most of all, I have a sense of global connectivity. There's one ocean and one planet that we get to call home. Over. Aloha, Zena. This is uh, Daniel Kinzer, communications lead on NA175. What are the similarities between exploring the deep ocean and exploring space? Over. Aloha, these environments are deeply analogous. I think they both require a multidisciplinary team and a really exceptional vessel that you also get to call home. Over. Uh, what's a common misconception people have about your field of exploration? Over. We do still have gravity in low Earth orbit, otherwise we wouldn't stay in orbit. We're just weightless because we're effectively in constant freefall. Over. Uh, what's the most unexpected thing you've discovered during your ISS mission? Over. Ooh, how quickly the mind adapts to a three-dimensional environment like this, and then also watching the moon set through the really thin lens of Earth's atmosphere. Over. How did your time at sea help you become an astronaut? Over. The operational side feels most relevant, and I do a little of everything here, from science experiments for teams back home to fixing the toilet when it breaks. Over. What kinds of technologies do deep sea explorers and astronauts both use? Over. Oh gosh, the first one that comes to mind is ships. The ISS is even laid out with port and starboard deck and overhead. Navigation is another one, modern GPS, and believe it or not, celestial navigation, and really good waste management systems. Over. <laughs> Thanks for that answer. What is your favorite part of the ocean to look at from space? Over. I love the large-scale perspective that we get up here. We can really see patterns of interaction between the land and sea and atmosphere, but lately my favorite's been trying to catch oblique views of the Drake Passage through cloud cover. Over. What inspired you to explore such extreme and unknown environments? Over. You don't have to travel far to explore. There's so much to learn, even just in your backyard. I started with purely scientific interests. I found the biochemistry of those environments so compelling, but ultimately, I love the operational challenge. Over. How do you prepare mentally and physically for an ISS mission in such an isolated place? Over. Hmm, physically, we exercise a lot or we lose bone and muscle. Mentally, I have a really wonderful support network and I actually love being here, so it might be harder for my family back home. Over. Yeah, that leads right into uh, what do you miss most about Earth? Over. I miss fresh cheese and most of all, I miss my friends and family. Over. I love it. What was your favorite food on board the Nautilus? Do you remember? Over. Probably coffee while I was watching sunrise or sunset on the back deck. Over. And how about in space? What's your favorite food in space? Over. <laughs> also coffee, but also space cake, which is a special occasion kind of thing that we glob together from irradiated cinnamon buns and peanut butter and pudding. Over. Is there an experiment or a study on the ISS right now that you're most excited about? Over. Oh, there's so many different research experiments going on right now. In any given day, you might be doing a physics experiment one hour, cell biology the next, and working on replacing a robotics workstation later in the day. Right now, some of the experiments going on are including on my own human body. A lot of the effects that we experience as astronauts are really similar to aging or immunocompromised populations on Earth. And so the research we're doing here will help astronauts in the future as we explore farther afield, but also I hope the people back home on Earth. That's great to hear, really exciting stuff happening up there. Do you have a favorite memory from your time at sea? Over. Hey Renato, it's always the people that I've sailed with and that's completely true up here on the ISS as well. I'm wondering how your mapping mission is going. We started in Majro, Marshall Islands, and we're ending in Rarotonga, Cook Islands. Uh, we were focusing on Howland and Baker Islands, the parts of the ocean that are really poorly mapped. Over. 
That is really cool. And I'll have to take some pictures of uh, the area that you guys are in when we have a pass later this week. I'll be following along for sure, tracking the ship. Have you guys run into anything surprising on this mission? Over. Let's see, surprising? Well, you know, when we were mapping the seafloor in uh, one of the areas, we saw some really surprising geology that had not been resolved before. So that was, it was exciting to see, and it'll be exciting to see in the coming years going back to that location uh, with ROVs, perhaps. Over. It still blows my mind that we have less of our own ocean floor mapped than we do of the surface of the moon. So you can definitely bet that my time sailing on board the Nautilus and other ships feels especially special now that I'm exploring in space. Over. That's really great to hear. Why is it important for humanity to explore the unknown, whether it's in the ocean or beyond our planet? Over. I think exploration teaches us about ourselves, where we come from, and how we fit into the universe, and how to take care of our home. It's important to take part in something greater than any individual. We're really thankful as we wrap up here for, for your time with us. We're often thinking uh, about you and the other astronauts as you pass overhead when we are in remote parts of the ocean where you're the closest humans to us. Over. That is absolutely wild. I will be thinking of you all as well. Thank you so much for the great questions and this wonderful conversation. It meant a lot to me. K6DE, this is NA1SS. Fair winds and following seas to my friends on the Nautilus. Talk to you soon. Over.